Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Margot Garrison. I'm the director of the Institute for Computational and Mathematical Engineering, and we're hosting the conference today. And I just cannot tell you how very excited we all are to be here, not just here at Stanford, but everywhere in the world. I will show you a map later, but we're running 177 events in 53 countries today. And, and some of them already happened, some of them are going to happen next week, but it is just phenomenal. So this is uh, an event we look forward to every year. It's our third Women in Data Science Conference and the second Global Women in Data Science Conference. And uh, we welcome you all. Right here, uh, this is the most important slide. Last, last year, we were trending on Twitter. We'd like to have that happen again. So please take note of the Twitter handle and, and tweet away. Um, if you have any questions, either here in the audience or outside, uh, in wherever you are in the world, for the speakers, you can do so with the TWITS handle, uh, hashtag WITS2018Q. That will uh, be monitored and quest some of these questions will be selected and will be asked of the speakers. Um, and you can also do this on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is also live streaming the conference today, which is very exciting. They're sitting right there. Thanks so much. Um, and the other thing that you could do today is go to our conference website and uh, put your name on the emailing list so that we, you'll keep up to date with everything that we're doing at WITS. So here at WITS Stanford today, we have uh, 400 people uh, signed up. Uh, we have 40 different universities present. Uh, I think the furthest visitor is from Nigeria. Is she here already? We're still sleeping. <laughs> well, well, maybe later, we'll have a shout out. We also have London and Cambridge here. Are they, are they in the audience already? Yeah, there you go, stand up. So that's a pretty far <laughs> trip. That's wonderful. And then the other thing is that altogether more than 60 different organizations are uh, here as well. Lots of different industries. And I really hope today uh, you won't just uh, love the, the talks and enjoy the talks, but you also really get to know each other. So at the tables, uh, in the coffee breaks, and of course in the breakout sessions over lunch, please uh, get to know as many people as you possibly can. And so this is the map of our uh, events worldwide. So 177 events in, in uh, 155 cities in 53 countries. This is double from what we had last year. And last year was already this phenomenal feeling for us that we were you know, in so many different places out in the world. We started this conference in November 2015. That was the first, and it was just local. And uh, it's a, just a, an incredible dream to have this uh, take off so much and have thousands and thousands of women and men everywhere in the world represented. Uh, some of the events have already taken place. So here are just a few snapshots of some of the previous events. They uh, happened last week. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors. We have fantastic sponsors that not just give us financial support for this conference, but are true collaborators in the conference organization. Uh, SAP, Western Digital, Warman Labs, Microsoft, and Intuit. Um, and other partners of us, Google, Total, and Silicon Angle, who have joined us this year and have just been wonderful to work with. Also really like to thank all the people at Stanford who supported us. Uh, several of my colleagues are here. Uh, we have very generous support from the Office of the Pre President, for example. So thank you, Mark, uh, as well as several of our uh, colleagues around campus. Now, why do we have this conference? This is a conference that is technical, and it has outstanding talks by outstanding people. But when you look at the list, you may notice that they all happen to be women. Just like many other conferences that I go to, all the speakers happen to be men. <laughs> and so a few years ago, so this was 2000, early 2015, we had a few conferences that I attended. And I asked the organizers, why do you only have male speakers? And the answer would be, hmm, we didn't really notice. 
Or the answer would be, well, we asked Emily, but she couldn't make it. <laughs> so when people ask why a women's in data science conference, you could answer, well, we asked, we, we were looking for some male data scientists, but we just couldn't find any. <laughs> now, or we asked John, but John couldn't make it. But seriously, data science is a, not just a very exciting field to be in, and you will hear that today, but it is also an increasingly important field. Many, many decisions right now in industry, in policy, in commerce, in, in the social sciences, in medicine, are made based on data science. And those, the people that make these sort of decisions and analyze the data and draw the conclusions that are going to dominate and govern our lives, those people need to be diverse. The number of women, the percentage of women in this field is still very low. Now between 10 and 20 percent are the numbers. And I see this all the time at conferences. So what we want to do with this conference is inspire other women to join this field and be at this table making those decisions and doing this groundbreaking and very critical work. We'd like to educate you when you're here by providing you with fantastic talks by outstanding speakers. And we definitely also want to support all of you in the networking that you can do here, in the role models that you're going to be seeing, and by sharing the sheer excitement that we have today uh, here and all over the world. But I do want to do a little shout out to the men, because we're more women here than men today, which is quite unusual for a conference like this, but there are men. And so all, all of you men, please stand up to be acknowledged, <laughs> right? Right, and, and uh, throughout the day I will have some shout outs to several of them in, uh, in person because they've made a really big difference to this conference as well. So we are a conference, a global conference as we talked about here today and around the world. We also this year extended our activities and had a datathon and you will hear about that today. We'll announce the winners of the datathon later this morning. And we're starting a podcast series. So with this, we're really hoping that WITS is not just this once per year event, as great as it is, but actually continues throughout the year and provides continuous support to everybody. So again, here are the, uh, the hashtags. And I'd like to start today with a wonderful, you know, wonderful speaker. I'm so happy she could make it. We asked her last year, unfortunately, then she couldn't come. But this year she is here. Uh, please welcome Mariah Clove from Harvey Mudd. <laughs> 